、えー、僕が居合、えー、を始めたのは三浦先生にあ,あってあ素晴らしい人だと思ったので、えー、こういう人になりたいと思って始めましたあの今まで、えー、武道をやってやって空手,空手少林寺拳法あそういうのをやって,やっておりましてでも三浦先生になった時はそう本当の武道家侍という感じがして、えー、僕もこのようなあ人になりたいと思って居合を始めました抜刀法は昔は栄心流のシステムには入ってなかったんですけれども、えー、大日本武道会の要請を受けてあの福井先生が抜刀法栄心流の技の中から、えー、作られたんです。居合術と抜刀術は、まあ、同じようなものですけれども、えー、居合っていうのはその人と人がこうパッとあ面と向かった時ですねそれとか立ってる時も居合座ってる時も居合、えー、向かい合わせに立ってる時も居合そういうのは居合その技があ居,合居合術であって、えー、抜刀っていうのはあくまでも、えー刀を脱いでその時に切るっていうそういう技なので居合、えー、の方がその言葉としては、えー、いついかなる場合にでもそのその時の対応にあ変化していけるっていう技ですね居合にはあ正座、えー、立膝、えー、立ち技あるんですがあまあ長らく中央しておられて膝を痛める人もたくさんいてますのであくまでも武道はやっぱり健康のためそして人づくりのためとなるべくそう健康第一にあそして、えー、技を磨くと同時に心を磨くそれをやっぱり主体にして、まあ、あの我々も、えー、正座立て膝やりますけれども、えー、抜刀はもう。年いった方でも膝の悪い方でもどなたでもできるということで、えー、すごくあ皆さんには練習修行し,合いし,しやすいと思います。Uh, and having to travel to San, San Diego and then、uh, Japan to Osaka、uh, to train with Sensei and Miura Sensei、uh, was a bit of a challenge, but、uh, it's been well worth it. The,、uh, the martial arts for me,、uh, obviously, I trained in、uh, Karate Do and、uh, Aikido in the past, and obviously, the、uh, next、uh, step for that is the pinnacle of martial arts, which is、uh, Japanese swordsmanship. The、uh, sword obviously became a, a technical thing at first, but it's become much, much more than that. For me, It's not about what you study, it's about who you study with. It's about learning the true heart of the, the technique that's been passed down for 450 years, from the very founder through the teachers, the、uh, 20 generations, to where Shimabu Koro Sensei is now the 21st generation and、uh, the designated、uh, So Shihan or、uh, successor to Miura Sensei. And what he's taught me is that the sword is truly an extension of your heart. And your intentions. The, the Japanese believe that the samurai sword was an extension of his soul. It represented his intentions, good and bad. It could be a sword that gave life or a sword that took life. For me, in my daily practice, the sword has become a barometer and a thermometer for、uh, telling me what's going on in my life and even the things that I, I'm not even aware of yet. For example, as a, as a thermometer, when I draw the sword and cut with it, or if I practice t e m e s h i g i r i and the cut's not quite right, it tells me that something's wrong. Emotionally, and it's automatically reflected in this sword. If it's, if it's something that I'm not aware of, it's a barometer. It's a barometer. It tells me that the weather's changing in my life, that something's on the horizon coming that I may not even be aware of yet. So every day, drawing the sword is a different process. It becomes something I need to do. It tells me about me. It becomes a, a method of self actualization for me. And、uh, through Shimabu Kuro Sensei, and the, I, think, I think everyone needs、uh, a guide. You know, you step off the path, someone to put you back on it, a, gives you the roadmap and, and a way to follow. It's about compassion, it's about using the sword for the right reasons, and、uh, continuing to, to use it to better yourself and、uh, make you a better person for your family.